Okay, once, once more on a kusha kusha on a kabo, these are the Welbo Liberty Pageants program. When I say unions, they will not study Boku book in various areas of health, and then they bring this program to now. If I'm them, nobody where they bring this program to, we know they get paid. We all they do our normal because we like the country. We get people who don't study different areas of medicine, get people who don't study pharmacology, you know, emergency medicine, general medicine, bone, um, pregnancy, women medicine, uh, public health, uh, when they call food and nutrition, we get a lot of people uh, where they bring their program yes to you. And so when people as well, well not even be part of the team now, volunteer no more, they can come as a one-off presenter and uh, present and present to now. So my family would ask you, yeah, when I take advantage of this. When I get people that want to know say go benefit from this, when I send the invites to them, when they charge anybody. But also if anybody get away from this switch radio in a salon or TV, we not going to cost me money because we're not going to give time and resource and everything that they feedback say for Bupi. If not free, or if there's a way we can work out something, we're happy for have a discussion with people. Okay. As soon as I see today at the 12th of February, Sunday, and the doctors they already presented in a Dr. Angela and Susamu, um, Dr. MSI Kamara, most of Unasabi, most of the people on the team will not know, and Dr. Christian Bell and Dr. MZ Toure. All the people ask, most of our work in general, Unasabi them. However, they will give a short introduction of themselves when they begin. Today we deal with malaria, a holistic approach. And I go wonder why I make it get handy. And because they look at them from a different perspective. All the people are students specialize in different areas. Like Dr. Ansim Samusun, a public health they look at from. Dr. Kamal go look at from emergency medicine, while Dr. Christian Bell go look at from pregnancy, you know, woman side of things, when they, you know, childbirth. Then um, 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 Dr. Ture go look at from a GP, when I general practitioner perspective, okay? As, well, as I've been saying before, I'm here on our host, you know, John Fuller, and the World Body Better Pageant team, or the people who are presenting good day at hand for support, okay? As I've been saying before, the people who are bringing the program to now, um, they not only get paid, but they don't come together because they want to help salon people them. They have a family, they will need to give any um, 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 individual advice as in, because so to say we don't want to help people, but we don't get to a general medical record, so we don't give the individual advice. What you can ask no more. See if you they feel any of the symptoms they would have shown here, we they refer you say let you go see doctor. So the advice we give and a general advice, we need to pick on anybody. Anybody we feel for share is up to you what you want to share. We don't force anybody, or if we talk about anything, not to um, you know, we need to address them to one individual. Okay. Like I already said before, we can share the recorded program on YouTube, Facebook, and WhatsApp. We get a WhatsApp um, number. If you want to reach out to me, please feel free. We also get um, an email. If you want to reach out to me for anything, any questions, suggestions, or feedback, please feel free. As I've already said before, um, if you ask question, if you look at your you screen, you go see them three buttons in there. If you press them, you will use this for chat, for sending any questions. If you get any question, you ask them, maybe you know want to show your face, or you know, you're not bold enough for talk, not a world bold enough for talk, or maybe your environmental side is noisy. Use the chat for talk to me. And the other thing is, you can raise your hand for ask question because you also really do a you know free for all, you get for be orderly. You know, when if you ask question, raise your hand. If I do a physically, if I see you or come to you, or you raise them via um, the Zoom app, okay? All right, so like I say, if you are sending me an email, please feel free. And you also, if you can contact on WhatsApp, I will share the WhatsApp group number. Please feel free for join the group. The group not get for get boku boku information they come in. Now only waiting doctors and CC will be good for on our own consumption and the kind of so that they allow everybody else to begin post. So then about no worry, see if you send a number, you know, then we'll begin the bombard our messages at later hours and message they will not get relevant. Okay. So without further ado, I thank you very much. And the kind of now to the one who don't learn book. Um the person where they start will be Dr. Hansi Samu. Then in that order, um, um after that, we'll get um, um Dr. Kamara and the rest of the doctors there for come through. Okay. Dr. Ansel Samu, um, when you're ready, please. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah I'm I'll ready. allow you for share. Oh, I'm amazing that you did drive the slides. Okay. Uh, I'm all right. Please. Thank you. Um, so as TJ they put on the slides, um, I just want to say thank you, TJ, for the introduction and family on a good afternoon and a good evening depending on who side you find yourself. Um, we're glad if for there with on our all and glad you wanna join me. Um, I'm not can let for talk plenty about myself, but pretty much I study in a salon then 
I migrate to the US uh, branch of to public health currently. I deal with the federal government. Today, as Steve say, we will talk about malaria. But the one main reason why make we choose this topic today is because of a colleague where we lost one year ago. Um, so if possible, Siege, I want to make we observe a moment of silence for we, dear colleague. Thank you. May her soul rest in Isata, may her soul rest in perfect peace. Thank you. All right. So as Steve Mendon say, we did get with the four main presenter today. So maybe start off with the public health section. Next slide, please. Um, the one main reason we make malaria a problem, um, a lot of the time, especially in a salon, people then lack awareness, people then not get trust in the healthcare system, and then the resources not really there. But um, when we come to the prevention side, awareness is very important. Next slide, please. So malaria, as we all know, an acute febrile illness where they be caused by the plasmodium parasites and it is spread from one person to another if they get a bite from the infected female Anopheles mosquito. And most of the time they can present with fever, chills and headache. And if you not treat them, it will lead to severe complication and people can even die for them. Next slide, please. So in 2020, WHO tell we say over 241 million cases of malaria and I will get worldwide. And out of that 241 million day, we get over 627,000 people then we die due to malaria. And most of them are picking then uh, Sub-Saharan Africa. Then in the US, we get about 2000 people then we then diagnosed with malaria. But most of them case then they, especially in the Western world, not so only US, most of them cases then they now as a result of people that we travel or people that we immigrate and migrate from areas then we Malaya high. So like Sub-Saharan Africa with Asia. Next slide, please. So about this slide here, just for sure, how malaria boku now if you look the red side it is show areas then we they are ties of malaria so from east africa to central africa to west africa you see say them areas then countries they are um get a high risk of malaria next slide please i just want to give short statistics about malaria in a salon So in Sierra Leone, as you say, we all know, malaria is the leading cause of death and illness among picking them with the under five and pregnant women then. So out of a thousand people, over 328 people then they be diagnosed with malaria all the time. And malaria, they account for more than 2.5 million cases and over 6,800 deaths. This report, now according to CDC, we get um, in 2019. Mm, next slide, please. So I use this particular slide for just give you know, a short summary in a slide set for a bowl for just give you a quick summary of the prevention of malaria. So why use the ABCD approach? And I remember where I start, one of the main reasons that we make malaria and a big problem in most areas and because people are not aware. So the A in this case stands for awareness. So it will finally we continue for spread the word, continue for educate people them about the symptoms and what the need for do once and feel safe then get malaria. Then the B now for bite. We need for prevent we say from being for make the mosquito not bite when one of the ways that we can do that when rain come or if we get gutter we need a flow now we compound or also we can sit down they keep pumping or for make sure say water not gather 
Nagron or any container. If any notice that, get rid of them. Um, if you drainage not the flow, make sure say it flow properly. Then of course, try for the sleep under mosquito nets. Try for the use um, spray. But my other colleagues then will talk more about them how you will prevent the bites. Then the C, according to this ABC approach, that came up with relaxes. Most of the time, people then can take medication for prevent them for from getting the malaria. In most cases, when people then they travel, so like some road way, they come out now sideway malaria not day, and they go in a country way, get um a high cases of malaria, then they take medicine for prevent them for make them not get them. And my colleagues then will talk more about their medication there. Then the D now diagnosis. So once you begin feel fever, you begin feel headache, chills, you think say na malaria, especially today na country like salon, na for go get treatment. No sit down the weights. Go see your doctor. Then the E na this slide na for emergency. So of course, once they don't diagnose you na for make sure so you get treatment, and most of the time no wait say it e become serious because if not, it will be. Um, it will lead to serious problem. So according to this slide, just remember the A, B, C, D, A for awareness, B for bites, prevention of bites, C, chemoprophylaxis, D, diagnosis, E, na emergency. The next slide, please. So from October of 2021, Malaya Mindon, um, WHO, sorry, Mindon recommend the widespread use of the Malaya vaccine among picking them in sub-Saharan Africa. And this vaccine highly um, efficacious um, against the Malayum, the falciparium Malaya. And then, because of that, the reason we make them recommend this vaccine, they mean do a study, and the study still they go on at three different countries, them um, Kenya, Malawi, and Ghana. And once they do this study, they're able, they're able for reach over 900,000 picking them, and the um, effects mean very, very good. So then they try for make sure say they go get funding for make sure say all other countries with them get access to the vaccine. Or as I, as I did talk right now, this vaccine in no rich salon it. And the vaccine, like I say, it don't show for be very effective. So in the US, the US President Malaya Initiative, the PMI, is support, it supports the Malaya Control Program. We all know say we get the Malaya Control Program. And this initiative now nah, for five years, the goal pretty much now for reduce malaria and cases and death by 50% 50 in 15 African countries. And luckily Sierra Leone now one of them country mm -hmm. there. At some point, um, CDC, they work with Sierra Leoneans them for make sure say they monitor the number of cases and for make sure say then get access to the right insecticide them for get rid of the parasites. Also, them in join on with the Malaya Control Program for distributes PBO treated bed nets. And then nets they are don't show for be four times more effective against the mosquito. Next slide, please. So not only in the US, even at the UK in 2017, I should show another concern, concern worldwide, Sierra Leone receive a generous um, amount of money from the UK nonprofit comic relief and then launch the TAP program, the TAP Malaria program, now over 25 rural community and then goal pretty much now then five things there. Number one, they want to save life. Number two, they want to help for increase people then awareness, make them understand how for prevent the disease and how for treat them. And of course, they want to make sure say them pregnant women them and picking their way out day under five, seek the proper health care, and of course, help for improve the quality of local health facilities so that people can go develop, develop trust in the healthcare system, and of course, build community capacity for make sure they get enough data. Um, I believe this is nah, the end of my own part. I will hand them over to um, the next speaker. Thank you, everyone.
All right, Fumble Nado, uh, thank you so much. Um, Namion packed this because Namion bread and butter stuff this. Um, me patient day. TM, the patient day. Yes, please. Good evening. Hi, Cecilia. How are you, Mama? You're yes, right. sir. Good evening. Not so bad. Good. good. Okay. Well, uh, welcome to the surgery. Uh, my name is uh, Mr. Kamara, one of the doctors there in this emergency department. Yes, please. Uh, you name Cecilia Fuller, yeah? Yes, please. Yeah. You can tell me your age. <laughs> 35. 35, okay, good. Um, well, you you come to me today for let we able to help you, no so? Yes. You yeah. want to tell me waiting happen to you? Waiting make you come to me today? Okay, I know they feel well. I feel feverish and I get say that so I don't try for the paracetamol, ibuprofen, but it not seems for the work. So now I say, well, I come to you. Now can I hear me, make them, make them come find out waiting really wrong with me. Right, okay. Well, I'm sorry for hearing that. Um, you say you get um, this um, fever. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, you don't take paracetamol and ibuprofen, but um, you never forget, you know. Oh, no, no, you of... All no. right, okay. Yeah. Right, well, how long this fever don't they? I don't get some for about two weeks, a week or two now ago. Okay, right. So it, it can come and go or it all the time? If they, if they come one minute, wait in the past, it's a money good, but it come back straight away. And they take about okay. five, right. five, ten minutes, depending. Mm. Then, then, it then it, it will come back. back. Right. Okay. Yeah. Do you get any of that with this fever? Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Me, they ask, and I feel feverish. And you I, feel feverish. Right. Okay. Right. Do you yeah. get any problem for looking at the light, bright light? Yeah, what they see the lights me they at. They, they at. right, okay, right. What about your neck? Any pain in your neck? No. No, right, okay. Okay. So so what about the bone them? You know, now you 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 shoulder, you 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 elbow, your knee and you foot them. Any pain, any joint pain, something like that? No, I know they get any joint pain. Like get pain. Right, okay, fine. Right, okay. Uh but you not get any cough. You did come no, from? I just did vomit. You did vomit. vomit, okay, right. Yeah. So when you vomit, you see any blood from this vomit? No, it just, just no. Now just wait till you eat, now they come up. Now they come up. Right, okay, you get belly yeah. with this, with this, with this vomit, with, you know. You belly the heart, wait, you vomit or no? No, no, I need the heart. Right, no. okay, all right, no problems, right. Um. Any problems with the go past water? Is it born or you go, you know? You need a born, you need to go off, you need to go no. plenty, plenty. Yeah, I'm already. Okay, so. fine, no problems. Right. No, okay. no, no. Right, I think so. They get connectivity issues, right? Okay, right, no problems. So, but you don't they take paracetamol and ibuprofen, and then they, you know, things they help you. Okay. Oh, yeah, no. Right, you you not get no rumble with this with this uh, vomiting, no? No, no. Okay, no. that's fine. No problems. Okay, so um, tell me a bit about you 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 life. You, uh, well, let me go through that. You you know any sick? Don't do it. Be not get before. No, I not get any sickness. No symptoms. Okay. No sickness. Did you take any medicine? Any medication apart from the paracetamol and the brofen? No. 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 Okay. Right. And um, you did smoke at all? No, no smoking or drinking. You know they smoke, right? You did. Do you drink alcohol? Listen, I just standard question. The number one. No, no. no. They drink, right? Okay. Mm. Because you um old thirty five, so you still capable for bond picking. You married or you get somebody? I get. I get a partner. You get a partner. We a steady partner. We not done this for a long time. Okay. For some time, yeah. Sorry. I need to hear you. Yeah, I get a partner with you. We get, okay, I right. get a That's okay. Partner. No problems. All right. Okay. This partner, of course, now person would have done it for a long time. Yeah. Right. Okay. And we yeah. practice uh, safe sex. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. You yeah. got no problem with any discharge down below? No. 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 Right. Okay. How about you period them? It come regular. Regular. So the last one, uh, how long ago? About two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, right. Okay. So you know if you say you go get you don't get belay or anything. No. No, no. right. Okay. No. That's fine. No problems. Okay. What about you walk? You do walk at all? Yeah, they work as an NGO. All right, they okay. Go oh, that's good. Did they enjoy that work there? You like that work there? Yes. Oh, that's yeah. good. All right. So this NGO involved you for going now other part than the world, no? So yeah, yes. I okay. just come out alone now, not so long. Oh, you just come out alone to, not long ago. ago. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. Um, how long you go this alone for? For about two weeks. Okay, two weeks. When you turn back, how long you don't take when you turn back? I just come back about a week ago. A week ago, right. Okay, fine, no problems. And this uh, uh, fever we they get and this, hey, that, all just uh, sort Start, of come yeah, after starts, you don't come back, yeah? Yeah, while well, it's on back, couple okay, of, about right. two days while okay. well, it's on back. Okay, when when you've been the go, you've been taking any vaccine against, uh, you know, any of the sickness, sickness we did in a salon day or in a week ago? No, no. No, right, okay. Fine, no problems. And when you did it, you been get any feelings say sometimes mosquito bet you or anything? Yeah, I think Usan been sleep. Usan been there, mosquito the member. Mosquito be there, right. Okay. You been sleep yeah. under net, mosquito net? No, no. No, because now we'll tell you lord or na or na, na host to you na day you lord. Na host to me na day. Okay, lord. fine, no problems. When when you reach there, you not been to take no malaria tablet, no, so no, no, nah, not right. taken. And when you turn back. From where you come back, where you come back about a week ago, you not take no tablet? No. Okay, no. All right, no problem. Well, um, they don't check you, you don't do a COVID test at all? Yeah, I do COVID test, not to and, COVID. And you negative, come back next. right, okay. And they don't check you yeah. for the flu, they say you don't get the flu. No, no. Okay, well, I go look for, I go look for examine you, you know, I go for see, I want for see how you blood pressure no. day, how you temperature day, how much times you they breathe for one minute, and um, oh. looking at your pulse, you know, and of course, um, look at I look at you and examine you from your head to toe. I go on, look your chest and see waiting whether you get anything at the chest or not. I go on, feel you belly for see oh. whether any uh, pain day or any kind of swelling day at the belly. Then I go obviously oh. need for look down and things like that. And then most important for me. Now, for find out uh, whether you get anything that you blood, we will actually determine which that this problem we get. So oh, I will get for send bloods for your liver, for your kidney, and of course we see how the hemoglobin day, the way that the oh. level of the blood, and then of course I will find out whether infection day or not. But to me on oh, mind, okay. the symptoms that way they describe to me, you know, we you just come out alone and we the go alone. You know, we don't take any anti. Uh, any vaccines, you not take any maclet, no nothing, and then you leave no. alone. You did there, you say mosquito bet you. Then you come back after one week. You begin vomit. You begin get a dart. You begin get joint pain, and uh, you know no diarrhea. You know, uh, uh, and you not get no problem for pass water, and then the COVID no. negative. I think say he likely say na malaria. Now you don't go catch you. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm uh, sorry. But tell you oh, that. My God. Right. But no, 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 no panic about that because we 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 definitely get how they treat uh, people them. Oh, so for okay. let we okay. able for confirm, what you go do, we go send them blood yeah, and get specific blood they wouldn't do, then get the one we then call thin blood, uh, thin spot and, and thick spot, you know, then then I just the one wouldn't do in the lab. We oh, okay. do them at a specific time so that we go catch the malaria. I don't know if you know much about malaria. No, no. The five type day, but the fifth one we're not going to talk about that because you never get much problem away. The four, okay. you know, four nine they affect we mortal man day. And so upon them four then they they're all bad, but the one day we bad pass they all we then call falciparo malaria. That one day nine na the one we can cause the cerebral malaria where the person go into coma. The next thing you realize now that it kill like nothing else. So that makes oh. you always they be very, very attentive and very careful when somebody can't to we where we know say you don't get exposure to that parasite then uh, the uh, endemic area, the area where that, that uh, uh, malaria they all the time. Uh, if it then come and don't don't take any prophylaxis because before you do go, if you don't take something and when you did it for all the time we did it, if you don't they take them, 
And when you come back, it will take them at least up to four weeks. Then get different, different type of them, you know, and that nine will help you. But now we don't get this thing. We get for check the amount of parasites within the blood. If you're up to 5% and beyond, then we need to keep you in the hospital. We need to admit you and treat you through the vein. Give you drip in the vein, we will forget that going down. Yeah. Uh, and oh, if at all okay. less than that, then of course we go able for uh, treat you with oral tablet. Okay. 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 But all I right. really but need for go. You want to go home? Yeah. I really I, I go really like for send you home, but I don't think I go for send you home without I don't know how much parasite you get in your blood. So my advice to mm. you now for let we admit you so that we go for start the treatment and then we take it from there because as I say. If God forbid the bad malaria in you cage, you could then get the ovale, the vivax, the malaria, the third one, and the fourth one, falciparum, then the you know, every two days, now the temperature they go up. Now that's what they worry about because it can cause mm -hmm. some bad, bad problems to the brain. And we don't want that for mm -hmm. happening. I make it fine for low, keep you in. Yeah? Oh. The, um, but oh. you will get better. Don't worry about that. The other okay. thing I need to tell you, I need to <laughs> refer you to the specialist. <laughs> You know, the specialists, the way they deal oh. with this, uh, we like the infectious diseases specialists, them. then they we then go get for before I admit you. Then, of course, uh, oh. because malaria, nothing way, no day in England, pass somebody, yeah. bring and come. Mosquito, they England, no. but the mosquito don't get the malaria parasite, na in body, na in belly, where na go pass, we go better another person. So, because of that, malaria, na pass the importer, I mean, no day in England. Now, make anybody we come, we're very careful. We want to make sure see that they stop rather than they go other side. So we need for notify them big boss that we then call public health England. Yeah. So we get for tell them about you and then then go check. Besides that, so oh. then the the malaria can sometimes not do on your own. It can get Lassa fever, it can get uh, typhoid fever and all that. So we need for be very careful and make sure say we catch them while if they did it. If not just the malaria, they will go treat it that way. But if now when we get you know, more than that, then we need to be aware so that we go through time and not go and bug you later on. Yeah? Okay, okay. You get any questions then for me? You understand what I don't say so far? Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry for being the bearer of not good news, but I think it's in a malaria, you don't catch. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Okay, okay. okay. let's start the treatment there. We see it. Absolutely. Okay. Brilliant. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now the what that told, now that we do, now we work that now A and E. So the patient go come with something, one green symptom, but we get for get that, get that all, we get for tease all the information, put them together and come up with a diagnosis. And as you can see, with all what he tell me, all he say, you know, in bone being that time, that, but I try to get all the information where I need, and I definitely come with a diagnosis. And of course, when I do the blood test, it will support me for say, definitely this person don't get malaria. And of course, if the level high, high. we keep an hospital, and make sure so you don't get anything else on top and take it from there. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I think so we will left the question then for maybe later on. So I'll go hand on over to the third person, let himself talk about um, the, the gynae side of the malaria. So thank you very much. Well, yes. Um, thank you, Dr. Kamaya. And thank you, sister, for the for the whole play that was very, 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 very good and very, very um, informative. Um, me to talk today about um, pregnancy um, or the malaria in pregnancy because of the ONG and the, the whole area. But um, we both can come down to the better woman then because it's very, very important for make the better woman then take care of themselves um, and let them not get malaria. And also when they get malaria in front of no waiting for them. So um, to the next slide. We know say malaria the effect they, they affect the um, mama and the picking. Um, and they can always get some bad, 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 bad effects because, especially for the mama, because the mama, when a woman pregnant, um, it gets them to German the way in body, then they reduce because they get for accept the picking. And because they have access to the picking and the body, then so German there, we they try to protect the woman, can reduce. I mean, they call her immunocompromised. So because of that, woman them, we get belly, they can always get, they, they, they get a higher risk for get um, different, different infection, like a malaria. And the effects when they can get, the, 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 way, the way how they think it affects, they can affect them. Bad, bad one, pass, busting, we not, we not get belly. 
Then final say um, or WHO say 25 million pregnant women, women then get risk for get malaria. And over 10,000 women and they die, pregnant women they die of malaria, and over 200,000 picking them. We're not born it, or we just born the die of malaria. Next slide, please. Yes, and WHO says um, pregnant women they get three times the risk for suffer from severe malaria than non-pregnant women did. And the, the mortality rate, even they approach 50% if they get severe malaria. And 25% of pregnant women get that infection. And it's very important for me, they want them way, like, like way um, Dr. Kamara do the role play just now. If that woman they get pregnant, so when you get pregnant, it be, it's very important for me that woman and they go na A and E or go to hospital or go to the doctor for make them go find out if they're malaria and get or not. And then you get a particular group of women them where pregnant women them where they risk higher. That means that the women they way get the first belly, women them then t -t teenage pregnancy women them. And also, women that were pregnant will get HIV. Then they get a higher risk of that infection day, and then they can die at a higher rate um, for malaria than other women did. And the time where the women then can get, we they divide pregnancy into three, three months. Don't we'll say women will they, be pregnant for nine months. So they divide into three, three months. And if the second three months, now then at the, the time where the women can get the highest rate of infection. And it can be so because the, the, the parasites then, they can go live inside the placenta. The placenta, that is the side where they attach by the woman in the womb, when I they supply the pekin with oxygen and with food. So the parasite then, are they, they can go to them, that they, they can go in for multiply because that they, that we have, you get a lot, a, a collection of blood. Any cells, you get a collection of blood. Like for instance, the liver back, yeah, or which we call the spleen, and the placenta now an extra area than the from pregnant women them, where them, them, them parasite they can go sit down. So next slide, please. So now I make when woman pregnant and again malaria, it affects the mama and it also they affect the pekin. And the mama young sign in blood can thin, we would call it anemia. Yeah, then gets a higher risk for get the cere and, and cerebral uh, malaria, forget the severe malaria, and then can die of malaria. Yeah, and as I say, if the um, parasite and the sedum inside the, the placenta, then they develop the, the mama in body can affect the, 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 the parasite. But because they sit down inside the placenta, then they develop inside the placenta, but then they go back inside the mama in blood back. The way that they happen, the mama can be infected with malaria back as well. So then they can actually see and say, for woman they were pregnant, the possibility for them to be reinfected with this, with this parasite is very, very high. On the picking your own side, um, then can, the woman can lose in pregnancy at the early stage, or it can burn picking with the picking on die, or it can burn picking too early, or the weight of the picking can too low, or we just born, and the picking gets malaria from inside the mama in womb, it can die we just born, or it can die as under five, and innocent blood can thin, and sometimes, especially if the blood, the, the, the parasites don't go affect the brain, and the development can pour. And Naimic, it's very, very important for me to affect malaria when woman pregnant. But the best thing we can always, we, we can always say is it better for prevent that woman they forget malaria than for treat them. So prevention is better than cure. Next slide, please. So I name for prevent. Um, and Dr. Hansen don't talk small modicia, so when they always advise women them for um, wear um, light, uh, light colored clothes them, for cover, cover all exposed skin them. The skin they will enable for, for, for cover. You can put mosquito repellent them, but when the mosquito repellent, you get for take out, you get for watch which one you take because of the, of the pregnancy. And you get for sleep under mosquito tent, mosquito nets. And also, then you can say if you forget air conditioner, 
it puts air condition at the, na, 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 na the room because um, mosquitoes do not like cold place. And then you can also spray insecticide for killing mosquitoes. But when you spray the insecticide, no sleep inside the room, we just spray the insecticide. You go find for when on spray and done, you wait for some time, and then you open the window. So then you make it go find back for make your window get wire mesh. Because if you don't spray the place fine, then you open the window, the mosquito can, the mosquito can come back inside. So you can find for making the window safe, get wire mesh. These are the kind of ways then we be able to prevent women that we get belly forget malaria. And WHO they advise all women them for take a certain medicine night in pregnancy. They call it intermittent preventive treatment for malaria in pregnancy. Um, they get this medicine way in salon we know for fancy that. Uh, the big name, we know for call it big name. When a fancy that then call them, then can say it's fine for make all women them within an endemic area them. We get moderate or high risk of malaria for make them take that medicine. Next slide, please. And this medicine here, it actually they protect the woman um, for, for making the malaria. And it also, um, you got from also, you know, so for take the medicine at that first three months. When the second three months start, now that 10 day woman they're allowed for take that medicine day. And um, they say if you get at least three doses, um, if you take them like a, you say at if better for me to one once a month, um, but it also at least three doses the woman supposed to get. And but Mickey always advise patients and say it's better for making them take her every month. Next slide, please. Um, we also get to understand, say, um, a lot of people don't know, say, they're, so, they're supposed to take this medicine. So, I'm um, 2010, and WHO say now only 2% been they take them. But we tell God, thank you, up to 2019, up to 34%. And then they take them now. And um, waiting with the advice of people in the salon for make them supposed for going to an antenatal clinic. And we pregnant. Some people there in the first um, first three months, they're not going to say that they're pregnant, but at least from the second three months, you don't know if you're pregnant. So if they go an uh, antenatal clinic, and through that antenatal clinic day, that day you're supposed to get the medicine. And if you go to the antenatal clinic regularly, then you will forget the medicine regularly. But you get villages them where they don't get antenatal clinic, then they can say, okay, the community. Uh, the, the community health workers, them, when they go to the village, then can take their medicine and they go um, to the village, them, they go find pregnant women, them, and if they don't reach them four months, they can be able to give them pregnant women, then this tablet also once every month. Um, so now, once in I will advise all pregnant women, them, for make them protect themselves, for make them not get malaria. Next slide, please. But if you don't get malaria, you get medicine in the back where you can get. Yeah, even if you get malaria in the first and trimester, like the first three months, you get medicine back where you can get. It depends on the kind of uh, malaria we, uh, the parasites we get, but as alone, um, I get for no say, uh, that the fancy power woman nine, nine day book on a salon. So um, you get medicine where if you get at uh, the first trimester, the first three months, we can for take when I get a queen in. Uh, yeah. um, but I don't want to go too much into this medicine because the doctor will tell you whose medicine for take, but it's good for making you know say medicine day way for take. And it's very, very important for pregnant women them for go na hospital where they feel like it was saying again malaria. Yeah, it's very important. You, you don't hear about the symptoms them, what kind of symptoms then can they um, where you get where, where you will feel say you get malaria before the pepper doctor itself now owes. It go good for make you go to the hospital, you go to a doctor, they just like check if not malaria you get so they can treat you as early as possible so that you know will get adverse effects from the malaria. So take home message, as I say, one, woman, mama, and picking they be affected with malaria. Not only the mama, but the picking safe they be affected. Yeah. The best thing, as I say, Prevention is better than cure. Avoid polyamide mosquito bets you. And also take the preventive treatment. And as I don't say back, then you can get a pizza. 
hundred them, then it's very important you for seek medical attention if you feel say you get malaria during pregnancy. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Fambule Unado. I think uh, thank you so much, Dr. Bell, uh, uh, for uh, giving that broad overview as to how we they treat uh, manage malaria, especially in pregnant women. Um, basically, I can talk to now how you what you would do for prevent yourself for get bad malaria, especially if you want for travel uh, from you um, you day abroad. You want go na endemic area like waiting up with um you know uh, the woman we do the role play with dr kamara it's travel go salon uh and not take any of your medications them then you end up get malaria then they get for admit them you know so of course then they get your own uh consequences within home and i get for one in home and all until they admitted and people in our admission and and yeah, then they take them very, very serious. So for prevent that happening, I think most of the thing there from uh, Dr. Ansel Samu, uh, Dr. Bell don't explain most of the things that we for do for prevent when uh, mainly the non-pharmacological, that no drug, no nothing, they need, they need for prevent. Now, before you did travel, uh, if find let you book appointment with your doctor, uh, it could either be your GP, it can be your physician, or it can be a travel clinic. Uh, people and feel say most times we go say you travel, you go see you, uh, your GP, they go see you, physician, they go do all things. No, you get a travel clinic now each practice where they look, ask you which country they travel, then they advise you on which necessary vaccines or medications the way you they take before you travel go and say when you come with medication they take so for allow ample time for letting medication that they work you need for like at least four weeks you go meet them before you they travel and a waiting i want for i like again so people and say the person where they in a salon when a day they leave or they in endemic area it gets some form of immunity to malaria so if the mosquito are better and that falsi perum and all anything, they in they cause bad, bad and complication. Uh, although it is cause them, but in it cause as much as they do for somebody way not live in a saloon. And if some man will say, well, oh, but I mean a salon are born at their day and maybe I just come out candy in Europe or America or wherever or other parts of the world. One let you know, say that immunity where you get to it in a salon. We don't travel that immunity they they wane off up to a certain stage. They reach now, you know, they get no protection. And when you travel in endemic zone, if you get malaria, it they keep you bad, 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 bad one than somebody will know the day. So that's a very, very important for let you make this appointment at the travel clinic and go for taking medications them and only medication the vaccines including typhoid, you know, say typhoid in a salon, you get vaccine, they all for the thing and they will they take before you go. Okay. And the advice again, they normally give to people and say, if reason no day for let you travel with Pekin, it will better let the Pekin not travel, go in an endemic area. Okay. And also pregnant woman, if you know, say, you know, get reason, not just on a, they not to emergency need, advisable for a pregnant woman and picking and somebody with over the age of 65 or immunocompromised person let it think carefully if you need for travel or not if you know get for avoid the traveling then yes you will need for take them precautions there and again for picking them who will, if you know say get for travel picking get for get medication so the medication then they will talk about them shortly and also your doctor will tailor the medication way suit for you picking based on the weight of you picking. But let your doctor not ever give you picking where get you picking doxycycline if you picking the under 12 years old. They need again to picking, they need again to pregnant woman.
Um, now, these, they don't talk, um, uh, I will just brief through them. Um, they don't talk about the mosquito net. We don't talk about the lights closed, Dr. Bell don't talk about them. Um, and the spray, we don't talk about them. Um, and the repellent then, the spray, I just want to let people in know, say, the kind of spray we for buy, we the travel, now a spray, we get that DET base, diethyl metatolemide, then call them. It need for be 50%. So you get for look at the, the spray where they buy, then they sell and most of them shop then. Look and let me make sure they get 50%. Studies don't show say that spray there can prevent um, malaria bites almost close to 100%. That spray there, you can use them from picking from two months old upwards. Uh, if the picking is less than two months, it's just some debate about giving using that pick, spray into picking them. So basically, now then we then they, you they protect yourself um, without taking medication. Next slide. Now, if you need for take medication, you get a whole list of medication the way they take. Um, the medication they are, you need for take them before you travel. And of them all, doxycycline and malarone, now the one the way they take one to two days before you travel. So if you know, say, oh, this you need for go quick, 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 quick. Um, um, one day before you go or two days before you go, you can go buy the medicine a day. And then some of them, they buy the over the counter, you know, need for book up, you know, say for get appointment with your doctor, sometimes they take long. You can go now to the pharmacies and everything. They can ask you a few, few questions then, then they prescribe them for you. Um, Malawon expensive, okay? So some people then can tend for avoid them. Um, but the doxycycline, uh, it's it expensive or less expensive than malarone. And so, which is why the hammer home say, you get for no if you're pregnant or not be small picking, not get under medication day under 12 years. So you can take the one in there, but all the other and they are listening for take like two weeks or three weeks or one week before you travel. And when you come back of them all, malarone only seven days, only one week wait to come back now you take them. Um, but all the other and they get for take there up to four weeks. Um, then get side effects, of course, eh? the medication gets side effects. Malagon most commonly can cause upset of your stomach, uh, tummy pain, nausea and vomiting. But then side effect that we talk to, not all men they get some. So plenty take them and they get none of the side effects then they. Larium, what they call mefloquin, uh, e, uh, you they take on two to three weeks before and you get for continue for take up to four weeks, the cabbie don't talk. E, if you get any condition when a psychiatric condition, schizophrenia, psychosis, anxiety, depression, uh, if fine for avoid the medication, this medication yeah. because it cause dizziness and headache, and it make you get bad, bad, bad dreams. Them, when some people they take medication, you know, when they go salary, go take larium, they begin get bad, bad dreams. Them nightmares and everything. Quick, you know, we easy for attach things and to to black magic and all that to begin saying, which man don't do you now this don't do you now for check first the medication we don't take because this medication can cause some bad bad uh, and nightmare and, and confusion and everything. And the other thing, uh, uh, palodrine, uh, the other we can take. And Hmm. If I'm going to take, doctor. We all know commonly oh. take out. The good news about chloroquine is you they take out um, once a week. You know, therefore, they take out every day. Like the other one, they win out every day, they take them chloroquine out once a week. But the problem with chloroquine is that you uh, we get so much resistance to run on most parts of the world. See, so uh, efficacy. Um, good but uh, because of the resistance to the malaria maybe it may or may not uh, work okay and 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 so things like headache and somebody will get epilepsy or seizures that advise us strongly not for take um, chloroquine and again the game medication they combine chloroquine and paludrine together uh, we again insert a more more important and doxycycline i don't talk about them um, antibiotics these antibiotics yeah it help 
for prevent malaria, of course, you use them for other infections and chest infection, STI, sexually transmitted infection, and other things. You can, you can use them for so many things, them, um, and it's cheap as well. But it can make you be so sensitive to light, you know, and also it can cause um, burning of your heart, uh, your, your stomach, you know, esophagitis, we call it reflux and all the heart burns and things, it can cause them. But some people, then they get inside effect, then they. Now, what advice you want to give to people then? When you want for you want for take medication, you will find you see your doctor. The reason being that they not just go say no more. Oh, and malaria get to go begin take doxycycline uh, because now antibiotics and all that any cheap. You need to go, go do that day because you might mistreat yourself. You maybe say no to malaria if you get because they need for sometimes take your blood. Can okay, go to the lab and go check. Make sure say that indeed na malaria you get. And also before you travel, you will finally you buy your medication na ya before you travel. The reason being that some parts then they na the world we travel they the malaria medicine in the cell is not at all a fake. Love no, just call it as it is. It can be a fake medication or you not get good standard, a substandard medication then. You see. So if you don't come now, for instance, you don't, you know, able to complete your medication and this, that, your prophylaxis. You know, advice you go for take another prophylaxis, but just know so you can be at risk. And if you get unwell, like how that woman would do that whole blow, Dr. Kamara, say if you feel unwell, now for see you, doctor, or you go to the emergency department. Next slide. Next slide. So now, um, if you yeah, uh, uh, you did travel, uh, for instance, somebody with um, na pregnant woman like Dr. Beldon Tokam, it will explain everything nicely about pregnancy and waiting for do. The the advice like I be don't talk say the the certain second stage, you know, especially the parasites they go hide na the placenta. For that reason, make when somebody pregnant. You know, well, it come back, it travel, it come back in need for see doctor. Why? Because a heart for let them fend the parasite na the blood. Because Dr. Bello explained them, if they go stay na the placenta, na the liver, and the other side them. So for lay, when they take your blood now for checks, and then they no go see no parasite day. They, they become diagnostic confusion. So now make them need for go, you get for day day, then they observe you, they get for spe specific time, they will get for the uh, and take 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 your blood them. So it can cause difficulties if we even the people who then they look after you. So if you're able for avoid, you avoid. But if you're not able to avoid at all, if you did travel for prevent things, you get for take, you know, medicine and they take like chloroquine, uh, paludrine, I don't talk about them. But if you did take paludrine, if your doctor prescribe you, you need for make sure you take folic acid because paludrine, they affect the full folic acid metabolism. Uh, so as a result of that, you need for to take folic acid. And we know folic acid is very important for picking them. Things like neural tube defect uh, can be caused if you get problem, you need to take in a picking or get enough folic acid. So you need for to take additional one. And also, if they prescribe you malaron, they need for give you, need for to take folic acid as well. And liam, you can take them. Um, but you just need to get some caution about them. So these are the medication we take. I'm sure Dr. Bell talked about fancy that and things. So you within an endemic area and everything, you can take the, the one in the But this way they travel, these are the ones they recommend. And again, no, no, no doxycycline. That's it. So we tell you all, thank you. Una can ask una questions now. We hope say um, this don't highlight so many things about Malaya. Uh, once again, we do this program here yeah, as uh, as Dr. Ansil say, we get a colleague who lost a year ago, they do this Malaya program. So as a commemoration to her and everything, and also for remember, um, we do this session here. Yeah. So anybody get any question, you can ask the question. I tell you, thank you for uh, listening to us. Thank you very much, Dr. Um, Angela, Dr. Kama. Dr. Christian Bell and Dr. Tuliona, thank you, thank you. Wow. All right. Um, we fumble them. I'll turn this now. Now, now you'll turn this now for ask um, as many questions as possible. Um, obviously, we will restrict it by time, but we will try to take as many as possible. Um, if you if you're able to answer um, ask questions today, or for whatever reason you're able to ask, feel free for send your questions by um, WhatsApp. 
or by email, um, we go happily take um, the question and try to answer you. Of course, we will try, most of the time, we will try to give as best an advice as possible. But sometimes, they, if we will not get your medical background, we will not be able to give personalized advice. Okay, not to say we know advice, but we will not know what is your medical history. We will not know what is your test that we don't do and stuff. So, what are we? Okay. Okay. Uh, Mr. Dabo, how are you, sir? I'll take your question first before. I'll give you questions. Very well, thank you, sir. Um, thanks to everybody, especially we doctors and we don't present this uh, 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 presentation for malaria. We all know how malaria did devastate Africa, especially we will come on salon. You know, we must know one or two people that we, we don't lose through malaria. And so the thing that we don't know now, we don't get to know some now. But what you mean by one for the CD, like this, the symptoms for malaria are the same for everybody, or are the, are the same symptoms, or it can vary, because like how they say different different kind of malaria than they where we not be no, may not be know that they or are not being too no say um, malaria and for different kind of people like even bella woman there. Now they may just want know if all the malaria they are that they talk about are the same symptom they all go get. Because we say that they will not get no doctor at all, at all, at all. That's alone. We know they have, if malaria don't want a person, especially below my own call, pass and tell you, if you give bang back, then we tell you, say, let drink bitter medicine. And I don't know, then they are whether it's effective, you know, for everybody back, I don't know. So I just want to know because some side away, they do not get a doctor or they do not get a clinic very close by. Then people, then they, they, you know, then they rely on them paper doctor business. That we all we, we look no more places and say this is not malaria you get and we're not a doctor there. But I just want to know if at all most of them get more than half of the same symptoms or all get entirely the same symptoms. Now that I want to ask for. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Dr. Bell or Dr. Tui, would I take this? Yeah, okay. Um, I'll just say just a few words. Um, um, symptoms that we that never we, okay then call it symptoms because um, it it could happen and not me say it can okay okay always happen. Get some people in. Um, we uh, okay the, the the main symptom we can mostly always happen at the, at the fever, you know. But um, some people them um, get different symptoms when they can get. Um, but like make and some of them symptoms that they they can get for other other diseases other diseases. That they, other diseases then self as well. So now you make um it can always good for let make we do let me Dr. Kamara do um the role play because it show you how you can for ask the questions them to the different different and they ask the different different questions question to the patient for make you they know exactly who's area they go like when you talk about fever they ask if it get discharged they ask if it gets it gets um 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 um, um um, they, 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 they passing safe sex and all, so you get the areas them way they know. Say okay, well this also could be malaria, um, but it's you got for no say not to all the symptoms them can. Obviously, one patient can get all the symptoms them than that one, and secondly, um, the symptoms they can be different to different different people. But now like a I always say now like a medicine like a jigsaw puzzle, you get the you get the history you get for the ask the patient fifty percent of the of the diagnostic or the diagnostic did on the in the in the history of the patient we really ask that the questions that we really ask the patients then and um may I make it good may I make a glad you say we do this role play for me when I understand say you have to ask the patient the patient then questions that day and the symptoms then can be different to different um people then okay Dr. Tui you want to add anything on that and uh, not really I think uh you don't explain everything so uh... Okay, so I'll go to Septina. Um, yes, thank you. Um, I have two questions. Okay, I will talk Creole. Let's have a talk Creole. Thank you I very get, much. <laughs> <laughs> um, I get two questions. Uh, first of all, let me just quick points, um, plug, say thank you for this presentation. I try to be part of it as much as I can. I am calling in from the States. My question is um, two, two questions. The first one is if malaria go undetected, you know, 
you know, most of the um, doctors in IASU know, can always capture that kind of question in the, um, how much um, effect does that have on the fetus in utero, right? Um, just, if you can just tell me just, just a very small caption there. And then the next question is, um, but possibly we know we don't do America, we did travel back and forth. How often you for take this medicine, the medicine, preventative medicine, how long you go for? I missed the beginning part, so you may have already answered that. But um, if you can explain those two questions. Thank you. Okay, um, Dr. Tsuga, you want to take this on? Yeah, I think uh, regarding um, traveling back and forth, uh, you you most of them uh, said malaroon you need for take a one to two days before you travel and doxycycline one to two days before you travel chloroquine you can take her once a week where you have to be week well, one week before you travel and when you come back at malaroon seven days after you come back if you continue for take i stop uh, all the other one there you get for take them for up to four weeks um, before you stop now in the event, so so each time you travel, you go, you still at risk. Just just be aware of that. Each time you go, you come, you are at risk. So each time you go and you need for take you um, and prophylaxis medication, right? And um, if for instance for some reason you get um, due to side effect of the medication or you need to tolerate the medication, you come, you know, complete the the medication, you come back. You stop for take um, uh, you need not for take another prophylaxis, but just be aware, say your risk high. So within a whole year, if within that year you feel unwell, when you go na hospital, na ANE or any doctor you see, especially in Europe or in the West, you get for tell them if they if they don't fish that history from you, when you they tell them, you, you get for volunteer that to the see you be travel, go na endemic malaria area. Then, then they go click their mind for consider if they send you to an infectious disease somebody we go able for and uh, further investigate things and for maybe say well low we treat three time based on symptoms or they do blood tests and everything for check up because uh, not to alter when they do the blood you're able for catch up the the the, the parasite you see and so especially with pregnant women with dr bell we don't talk and also we don't mention not all today we go pick up because some people the parasite then in the day na the liver and not to all medication and some of the medication we mentioned can only kill the one with the na the blood the other na the liver like medication like prima queen can will destroy the one at the liver and um, some of them they're not licensed in certain area uh, in certain countries you see, so you need for to see them, the infectious disease people, and for and do that. Now, with pregnant women, I'm sure Dr. Bell and we don't talk that in his slide. You still wait to go up with the picking, still bath, and low back weight, anemia, and all them things. I think he mentioned any day, and even some congenital uh, problems and stuff, uh, which happen with the picking when they're not treated uh, the malaria uh, properly. Um, maybe Dr. Bell will throw more light on that if, if needed. Yeah, no, well, um, yeah, you don't answer the question. I think, see, because, because the, the, um, I think, see, also, you, you, they try for ask back, say, if somebody go frequently in a salon, like, uh, for instance, um, they go every, every three months, yeah, every three months in the salon. Yeah, then you have to take the, now, just like a, if you're in a salon for, 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 for six months and they come back, you get for taking prophylaxis for the six months. Yeah. If you not take the prophylaxis, then you, you are at risk. Okay. You can go through the other, the other um, preventive measure, methods that you get to repellent, you get to you, you mosquito net and everything. But um, at the end of the day, um, even if you go for a longer period of time, it can still, we still advise you for taking prophylaxis. Um, but as I say, it depends on you. It depends. It, it depends to you. If you say, okay, well, at the day and at the day salon, two, two year, for instance, um, and you may, may seem too expensive and want to take up, then you are at a risk. And people like can say, oh, well, if I say for lagging malaria one time, so let me, let, that, will, that will be immune. Uh, so, so that, so that, so that then um, I don't need for take me malaria medicine again. Eh? When I saw some people say they talk about COVID back, we then get COVID and they say die back. So it's like it's at your own risk. 
Yeah, we go always advise people that way they na yaso, way they overseas, way the immune system no 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 know that malaria parasite anymore. For make them take them um, regularly, um, and if they go and come, go and come, then malaria one of the best we go say okay, well I can stop them, and then two days before I uh, I get for left back, I, I, I start for take them back. So I hope that answer your question. Okay. <clears throat> and while we last I check the, the comment was last year, uh, if we get any questions there. Okay. Some um Mr. Mr. Dabody says something they it can lose appetite and get bitter taste now, mouth, etc. Mm -hmm. Um Dan did I link to them or is it just normal? Yeah, a few times we can help them as well. All I want that we don't live through Malaya and that's alone. <laughs> no, that as well. See, yeah, you can get that that bitter, bitter taste now more. And uh, yeah, you can also, you know, they feel for it. I mean, that's that's the but as I say, Danny, not, not only for Malaya, I mean they get that for other infectious diseases, other other diseases as well. But yeah, that are part of the symptoms of malaria as well. Okay. Um, the other question I want to ask, um, if you don't get malaria already, someone can say, you know, if I don't get malaria, I don't immune to them. Um, not too? Mm -hmm. And how it will work, if not too? I think they no answer than there, I think. Mm. Okay. They say, I don't answer than they say, if you, if you, if you get malaria, we in an endemic area, you always the malaria parasites they go. So you, your immunity they you know they build up, they build up. After we left there for years, your immunity they drop, you get immunity again. Let's take just like them vaccine that they give. Uh, you know, the vaccine they give uh, for COVID or for any other thing. What thing they go do then they try for build up so German then are your body where they recognize that disease condition they say so anything this rebel come na me body and they kill they kill them they then them specific say this anytime when this rebel come because they take this the the bug as a rebel anytime enter we they kill them but we turn the reach way you know they get a rebel they come in the immunity they drop then 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 they can't overcome if you get the natural uh, immunity when you don't they don't infect you it they build up that they they seek but they begin build up immunity against them so i think uh, uh, i think we don't answer that they Okay. Another one I want to ask, um, and to say salon one. And most of the time when they talk about mosquito, they can say the ways they we you know, then they breed now we water set through some and stuff. Now, um, if now the guy says it's about late travel, you know, the risk lower or higher or not the same thing. Well, the week um in in the in the um rainy season. As, as, and all over the world, they get the season at the time where mosquitoes are the day because actually they get a lot of side and way uh, mosquitoes are set to uh, dry season, not that much. But um, me no advise anybody where they in Europe, if they go to salon or go to any endemic country during dry season, because it's a Boko water all day. Um, and I will take the prophylaxis. I will definitely advise the person first to take prophylaxis because even in dry season, um, um, stagnant water is still there. And some people like it also argue, say, oh, that dry season, stagnant water, they will safe because they will in the season where again they can but the water, they flow, and then uh, um, stagnant water not there. But um, there, there are more stagnant water. Um, if, you, if, you, if you think it's, it's, it's amazing, also mosquitoes, then they, then, they, then, they, then, they, then, they, then they breed. I mean, you just get one pan cup with somebody open, one sardine cup with somebody open the left uh, 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 um, The amount of mosquitoes we're able to breed inside that one sardine cup of water is amazing. Yeah, so we know only talk about about um, about um, uh, um, gutter. Yeah, yeah, we got a block. Yeah, and the, 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 the mosquitoes that can, can breed today. But also they seem to simple. They have a simple place. They 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 uh, um, tire. That they, they, they use sire them with tin ups on side. We rain can water settle inside it. Mosquitoes are the amount of thousands of mosquitoes for breed inside that kind of water. Day. It's amazing. You know, now, now, now the way that the way the, the, the way how you for eradicate my uh, mosquitoes in a place, 
Now, if each and every citizen make sure say na e area na in surrounding non stagnant water nodi. Because at that campaign, I think they do that campaign day earlier, I think in the 80s or so, they may do that kind of campaign day, where they tell everybody in your area, say, watch if stagnant water day, also stagnant water day, you see any cup, you turn the cup over, any old tire, you, you, you get for me, you know, water, you know, water, you know, water, you know, gutter, you know, gutter, the flow, you know, um, I've been hearing saying that so, even places like Cuba be able for eradicate eradicate uh, mosquito, you know, but in real situations, very, very, very difficult. But I will advise anybody, if you go in a salon or if you did in a salon, now you surroundings, watch and make sure say all in thin and they, um, they, they stagnant for another day. But on the other hand, even if now, like, like, like na, 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 forest, for instance, um, we live for them, yeah? Water get another leaf day. Even that kind of situation, they say, mosquitoes are the breeding that kind of area that they as well. So now make it go very, very difficult for, for eradicate. I must say, I think in the 80s as well, and all my time, you get people they go around, they go spray, 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 so all side, all in gutter, then they go spray, 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 and then they be effective one kind of way, but it's, it's really, really difficult for, for um, eradicate mosquitoes. So the best thing I would always advise people then is protect yourself. Okay. Yeah. Um, as much as um, you know, as, as, as you know, as you don't put up, we all there for be we own border uh, in keeper. I uh, we do we own little for make sure say mosquito not get a breeding ground, but also we take um and personalized pre and preventatives. Um, Doctor Tuge, I want to ask you the bit we talk about traveling. So if say for example, um, I they travel goes on side, but I know they stay at that country they. But that country, they, they they know them for their mosquito business here. I still need for take vaccine or take medicine before I go, or I can just say, well, seeing that I transit to my transit, I don't need them. Which is your advice? If you get for then at the country for one or two days, <laughs> and, and you make sure say mosquito no bet you, then you no need to. But if you know say mosquito get for bet you, and then the, there is a risk that mosquito get for bet you, then yes, you get for prevent, take that preventative day um, for whatever duration you did it. Okay, if you just a transit na airport you just day, then not today get for day. You, you, I don't know. Pass pass the mosquitoes are coming to inside the plane. I bet you. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, say at the moment, they, you know, to be honest, yeah. If you stay there, I get that. But at the moment, we get some transits that now we don't begin to take longer. More so for who they go salon. Um, and then you see the country where the transit na the mosquitoes go there. And they say no more. I don't see. And I say it is possible. It possible see. Um, and people like in transit for long hours. You know, I know some people we, we don't transit there six hours. They wait some side for six hours. Me not able to do amendments, but plenty do them. So in that case, in that respect, if something like that happens, scenario like that happens, which you advise? So the, the preventing thing, the, the long sleeve, uh, the long sleeve uh, cover you, 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 your body. Let mosquitoes know better. And the light clothes. We don't talk about the non-pharmacologic medic uh, way. Then you use that spray, that uh, yeah. repeller DET. You know yeah. that that period they day use them thin and day, but yeah. waiting people need for know that that one mosquito where they bet you, now they introduce the parasite, okay, and now in they they begin causing havoc, you see. So so if you're able for prevent the mosquito bet biting you, that's fine. Um, but if you're not able to prevent that, then then it's fine for take that prophylaxis or. If you don't take that prevalence day, you don't you don't take that prevention. When you come back with among the history, like, like that role play Dr. Kamara make, you get for tells you, I mean, the travel at transit now, so, 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 they did one side. Some people in the day can notice something better. He said, I was beaten by X, Y, you know, now I don't know it's better me there and everything, and Malaya and then me. Then the person can think that maybe he can, he can do blood tests in, in that way day, um, for sure. But you, you need to aware so I'll be transit now. If you're able for dual limb prevention, because not today they go, so they not take the medication, you know, buy all or any of them in a day. So when you come back, if you're unwell, you go see your doctor, you get for mention that. You see, because uh, if you take that, that's that history of psychomatic, if you can go on and on and on and on and on, you see. So, but you need for tell the person, the doctor, the relevant thing that we face, it will be useful for letting arrive at the diagnosis. Most of the symptoms that make it overlap. 
let me say double talk ball uh, uh, and fit no one for eat no one for this even flu you get tired you no know, one for it because your body they fight against the infection you see so so then they overlap so the more the better you give history to the person more traveling history the better it is to be able to help you okay um just what we're doing this um about the the preventatives so um fred and um sister fatwa they can't run a bit um what have you planned for Bhutan? Because uh, uh, after years, I decided for go last year. <laughs> now we are here at JC because we lost for a long time. Anyways, <laughs> what have you look online? So what do you recommend? And get them plastic band here. I don't know if people don't see them. Yeah. Um, yeah. You don't see them? Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> then it work. And <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, hundred percent proven, but uh, most people like use that day. You know, say it, 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 you know, it's just like a repelling the, the 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 mosquito in a way. You know, uh, ah. some people are saying it work, but I know we will uh, give them the like, <laughs> like, like, Not to say how they sell them, but <laughs> I just looked at it. You know, it, it reminds me of the hair band where they put now. And I'm thinking, what would this do? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so, so people, like, okay, fine. I know people get how, how we go about walking and everything, but it looks like a, a repellent some way to the mask. Okay. Uh, Fred? Mr. Fred? Okay. Yeah, uh, good evening. I mean, uh, Fred has some content. Eh? So, first of all, make us say thank you very much to the organizers and the presenters of this program. So uh, my own question, uh, um, more also an observation of uh, comments. Now, whether we not get plans for involve in that kind of program in future similar program that involves some public health officials from Sierra Leone, because uh, you know some questions and they will not involve for don't address. For example, how they think about we system na salon we are by. In contrast to what Dr. Kamara I mean, the scenario we present, we, we all know, say, yeah, people then they basically go to a counter, then, then buy medication. So they're not they get any diagnosis. You know, then can go buy from the counter and sell anything. And like some other speakers, they also talk about the vaccine, fake medicines, and go do a lot. So I, I for all, I really want for no. Waiting with government, especially the Ministry of Health, which kind of policy strategies then get in mind plan for address some of the challenges then they really because now some of the areas then they I think they go need for really look at if we can for succeed for fight against malaria and for minimize the morbidity and mortality impacts of malaria in the country. Yeah, so now that's what we have for us. Yeah, both we will not endeavor forget them officials, then we can able also feed into the same program. Yeah, because ultimately, I don't say we now go now for actually help the mother land, you know. So now that now that then points and they have you have for us. Then uh, but then that ring way we have been talking about. We don't use them. I think it will become a you know, be very company where they make their display because when I watch the packets now the same you know so that that wristband yeah I don't use it can work like for one or two nights it actually work you know around you 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 from your body tail to your head side once you put on you hand it will repel the mask side so, yeah, so, so that can be your contribution so sorry sir um just a quick one because I'm sure people have must not pick up something he said for one or two nights. Now, so the masculine, did they, they come up with the tactics for balance um, after two nights? Or that's what you Well, I don't, I don't think so. The thing, you know, in the case, they drop us because it already, it already steal. It is inside plastic. You understand that? Eh? Uh -huh. so, so, when you open them, you, you use, I don't think so. You go use them continuously. Oh, say so for the use new one every day. Have the same yeah. No, ah. that's, that's a good suggestion. Yeah. Okay, I will visit them. Whatever. Thank you very much, Mr. Fred. Um, I'll go uh, regarding um, I will touch a little bit on uh, one of the suggestions that we will make about forget people and from back and from back home. Yes, we don't get certain presenters then from back home. People every day within the system where they work back home. We can try for encourage people to come on board. Um, we I don't share with WhatsApp group link. I've also shared the WhatsApp number and the email address. If anybody know anybody back home, we want to get involved. 
we not in charge anything when except for anybody. We will be, we'll be very happy for engage anybody who want to come on board. We try because we have get few doctors then we'll get linked to us alone. We can try for get people them on board. We don't promise it. we will get the right people, you know, we will be able to get them. And then they didn't ask someone for ask because then they didn't ask someone, someone no money no involved. And so man, the money, then we don't pay man, we don't need pay anybody. Um, but yes, if anybody know anybody we will be interested for come on board and any of who program them. If you see, even if you don't see the flyer, if you see somebody, they will go add some value. Please reach out. Um, we will see how best to keep accommodate you for joining the show. Is there anything else you want to add, Doctor, to your Doctor Bell? Oh, really? I think you don't. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'll go to um, OTFF. I don't know which name anymore. Sorry. OTFF, old time family friends. Yeah. Okay. Auntie Mariama Pintu. Hello. Ah. Yes. Hello. Oh, Auntie yeah. Mariama. Adimama, hold on for one minute, please. Let, um, OTTF, um, uh, OTTF, 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 yeah. I mean, I put the go free town regularly, but I, I know they take any of their medication, their, their tablet, tablet, they are. Like, no more they talk. Me, most of the time, like, bang, bang, they take. <laughs> With all me years, the word I spend at the UK, I still believe, say, bang, bang, na be the best, best medicine for me for take for when I go free town. So, I can, even I ask if right now, I get them. I did boil up with time and I did drink them. Where well, can I go free turn back? Now the same thing. Where I go free turn, I get me pot. As I go, the first thing I do, now for call me, me, me nephew, if we go by, I can just tell and say, all, all, all condition. That means, say, you just go to the mommy, where tell the mommy, so the mommy sabi, where she say, just mix, mix all things, where you bring a camera, just they put, put, half, 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 put on a pot, a boil. I don't need me to drink. I don't know if it's good or if bad. Now I make a sila ask. Thank you very much. Um, I'll pass it to the doctors. Um, but at least a uh, few things they would not talk about as well in, in the past. Um, for me on point, anyways. Um, as as far as me understand, um, the doctors then we don't say before is that they cannot contradict say in all the work. All they can say is um, they will direct you through the mainstream medical um, practice. The reason being, not to say we, we try for say, oh, people not for use the traditional medicine. The only problem is they not don't do enough research on the medicine and they for show how effective they be and also the dose, the amount you for take. <clears throat> because I remember, we know we take a lot of us, but I remember you know, a few times I don't visit a few of me traditional long cool. <laughs> they go mix something and give you, everybody take the same cup. In they take the same big cup, and they get to the same picking with the same big cup. Now, how much stuff they inside it, we don't know. You know, but I'll pass on to the doctors the many ways until they that they learn book. <laughs> Let me advice. Dr. Bell, I'll go to you first. I'll count to Dr. Bell. Okay. Why may that be first they can't? <laughs> okay, um, yeah, you don't you don't see her. you don't you don't you don't see her already. Um yeah, they'll get some kind of goods then. We definitely uh, we they watch the some of the medicines and the anti malaria medicines and we they that not from them that from the kind of goods and they they put and they they they, they watch them. Um, but the thing is the doses, yeah, and that's not the main problem we then have our medicines they get. Yeah, say um, first of all that the right one in the like you way the way you go send your nephew for go buy the medicine for go buy that that that's in the. That the right one in the buy, or that they mix them with something else, or on the right doses you they take. Yeah. So um now all empty then they um with the look who they advise people and say, um, you know, therefore be careful. Yeah. I can always tell me patient and say, me, they recommend or they advise you now your choice for the way to you are for. So that means I'm not going to talk, say, you know, the work. I just say talk say you gotta be careful because you don't know the doses were good for you. You don't know 
if that nigga will begin abog your liver after a while because then kind of thing they na na like na slow death if they abog you small 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 even even the 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 the, the medicine they with doctors and they give they actually seriously doctor Kama said don't talk her and doctor Tuli said don't talk her they get side effects then they want to negate side effects even when they don't they don't do the last the last people who get research when I talk about it in a science yeah science now you actually they go through a process for get to a solution yeah to an answer so that means see all the medications they are so we we did they, they don't go through this process and they don't say okay this now waiting we will advise people them for take in this kind of situation so um then traditional medicine the um and then they, it can be said that the same that the same um, uh, uh, um ingredients they inside it but those those is not it. Some people then go say, ah, okay, well, me I know you feel fine today, so sweet in a three cup of the drink. You know, so you get to understand. Say that then are the problem where we they add, where, where we they see, where doctors they see, and where they tell people they say, no, do that day because it might get it might get later on effects by you, especially when it comes to your liver. Yeah. And if you get any back to the you begin, then the nine bad, nine the worst. Because it's the same doses for adults, not the same doses for picking. Get some people picking them, then get it at, we get a family where they go get paracetamol, or they go get the 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 the, 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 the adult dose. Then they back the about that picking the liver. So now I make it always good for go to a doctor for advice. And as I say, we always did for advice. If you take your advice, then it's your choice. Thank you very much. Um, Dr. Today, anything else that you want to add to that? No, I think uh, Dr. Bell do, do explain uh, as, as much as, as he could. So we don't go stop saying not do what they do. We just say we don't know about them. If if the traditional people and they actually do studies on them medication, they say, now so if for taken now x time it take and then i'm sure nobody know where they and then tell you how it work because like the medicine they are before we prescribe them they, they don't do lots and lots of study then they get for body validator and so then they take years before they validate them and they tell you like now the medication will tell you say prima queen go work for kill the parasite where they in the liver pro queen and the other way will kill the parasite within the blood and this pro queen or this medication will take it out they go through the the kidneys this they go through the liver. You understand? So when you drink anything, it absorb na the guts, they go through the liver, it break and down, they send na the blood and all that. So we don't know the mechanism in day. So it hard for advice in that way. They. And the liver very dynamic and everything. So so I think now on that basis they not that say we they cry down traditional medicine and all on that basis they. Yeah. I think I need to add to that as well. Is that that market they not regulated? Um, it means say more than me like I do, so I can just turn up. I say we know it's a man don't book or come on a family way. But I go na eh, I say nobody knows about me. I tell you say my family na us have been saying I begin to leave the give people. You know that market is not regulated. Um, anybody can give you anything, and it's up to you. Uh, maybe by luck I give something it work. All of a sudden now you don't believe in that same that medicine that they work where maybe you really not to something with the menu. Um, before I go to Auntie Mama, I want to ask a question quick. Um, if you Get, if you don't get malaria, how long? You know, it, were you well now? Until you come on your body, or then they stay in your body for a while? You know, uh, I don't. That's what today. You help me on that. You know, we don't get malaria. You know, when, when you well, that means all the parts don't come on your body, or some body in your body for a while. How does it work? When they don't give the medicine, um, you know, uh, we hope say the medicine they they kill most of the parasites, and just be aware say no medicine or no prevention a hundred percent, you know. But um, they will don't kill most of them. We um, sometimes you know go day enough in the body will cause you problem, and you go don't maybe develop some immunity again will go they fight and destroy them, and you know so. With time because this parasite they hide hide in a different side in the body and make it difficult for their for target them um, completely you see so yes uh, if you don't get they don't treat you, you know me say you know go get the thing will come again 
you see, but it will hide some side and then it show up and all that thing in there. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, Dr. Bell, a question there for you, but I will go to Auntie Mama first while they read that question there and get back to uh, Mr. Dabo. Auntie Mama? Yes. Yeah, good evening, everybody. Good evening, ma. How are you? Okay, now the first thing this one they join you now. This sounds Thank very, you. very interesting. Um, the question why they ask, um, I not travel in Africa for at least two and a half years now. The last time I go, I just buy me one day anti-malaria medication. I go with them. But I know say five years ago I go alone. I've been mean, on take all my vaccine, them. I think I built up immunity for yellow fever, typhoid, dentin and day. But I know exactly know how long this immunity day. And I can't remember when last I take them vaccine then day. Because this time I want to travel to Nigeria for a longer period. So I don't know waiting on my current immunity for all the other viruses who are going to get for good and I'm first time this one is travel day. So what do you now advise to me this evening? Thank you very much, ma. Um, Dr. Today, please give me help. I will, I will say where you go, you make you, you book your travel clinic, okay? Because your travel mm -hmm. clinic, they go through each and every, uh, the country where they travel, go Nigeria, for instance, waiting and waiting for really use for prevent yourself. If you don't take certain vaccine, how long it take? And some vaccine will take for 10 years, some vaccine they take a couple of years, and then a one no more year they take. You know, so you need for you need for book with the travel clinic. Then we'll go with the, the, the in detail with you because then get you record as well. Okay. Which waiting, waiting really you for you for you for take definitely you need for take prophylaxis uh, regarding the vaccines that we you don't take. They don't know they, they don't know when you don't take and how long it will get for uh, and last. Maybe you need for you maybe no need for take another one or maybe you need for take a booster dose. Then we'll go through that with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank right. you very much. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Much. Thank you. Okay, Dr. Bell, um, regarding uh, Mr. Dabo in question. Yeah, uh, yes, I just, I just read them. Um, and the behavioral um, outcomes them, I mean, you get different, 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 different forms them. Um, you get um, things like um, 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 withdrawal, depression, um, you get things like aggressive behavior. You also have people picking and picking day. Autism, um, uh, autism. We know, we know. Like if some, if picking get autism and you say, okay, travel go uh, malaria area. Do you want me travel go like malaria area? Pregnant. Um, I know things that people go associate some directly with that day, but um, you know what? You know, you know, like um, ruler out. You know, and um, you will just think. You will just, you will look at this way. And say it's um, the. If the malaria, if the pekin, if, if we don't want to get belly and the malaria parasite affects the pekin in brain, then I mean there's a whole spectrum of problem we can have. But the main things they were they look for now, then the um, aggressive behaviors or withdrawal or uh, the depression, the kind of thing they kind say look for. But I know go rule out autism, but I still know. Go, uh, um, if the if you say this this being your autism now because you begin my and I make it get up no I know I know I know it. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Um, the last question I can take now from Clem Snetter. Um, after that we will finish because we really don't go slightly over time. Clem, I hope I pronounce your name right. Yeah, that uh, you pronounce it right. Um, actually, it's not a question that I have. Um, I'm just somebody may ask a question. Are you going to manage? You know, say the Malaya don't donate system. And actually, earlier somebody mentioned so you get a way the way they the diagnose them. You get a, a thin and a thick smear, whatever. So usually, I'm going to check your blood um, for see if the parasites there. But that's not the only thing that you can do. Um, the company where they make the same uh, tests where they do the test for COVID, Binax, and they make a malaria, what they call Binax now, you can actually detect the antibodies from your blood. So 
Uh, me, me, me located in Washington area. So that's where, where, where they can come for diagnose. If they actually test the blood, see the antibodies, they're not show anymore. And I test it very good. It's something we probably, probably go for using as alone because it's also the specifically they identify the type of malaria where the person gets. So that's that's what I wanted to add. That's perfect. Um, that's really good. Um, how the only question I got to ask: How long did it take from when you do the test to when you get the result? Is it something instant or not? Did it take a few hours, a few days? How does it work? So la la on YouTube, back. they are big. Clem. Uh, so for the Binax now, we check your antibodies within uh, ten minutes. It's just like doing a pregnancy test. Once you get the whole, you use whole blood. Once you get it, you can even stick the patient in finger. Use about three drops of blood and put it there, and actually say go identify clearly if the patient patient get malaria still, and not only that, identify the type of malaria the patient get. So Thank you we, very much for that contribution. Ten minutes, you know, and that's and that I think where they do the role play for the triage again. That can probably save a lot of the questions because a lot of people already present themselves to the ER, or whatever. They are very lethargic and able for talk better. So when they talk at all, so if you can go and look quickly or get a couple of whatever, you can you know you can avoid a lot of nasty play for you know asking questions, boku 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 question. Hmm. Okay, you. um, Doctor Bell, Doctor Tuna. Get anything for comment on that? Okay, I'll go to Septina. I'll take you on as the last question, please. Okay, great. I, I remember this um, question after I remember reading a vague research on modification of um, vectors, right? So the, the premise is that then they manipulate the gene that the mosquito, then hoping that they no, will no longer be host for parasites. Have you heard of that study? And I think it was widely used. I can't remember, please don't quote me. I can follow up with the uh, message afterwards. But then they, they use that for try for manipulate the actual mosquitoes that we get malaria. So we then control the host, right? Then can now say, okay, you and whatever means that they use for um for, for the mosquito for um in fact, they no longer gather um their vector the for, for, for pass on the malaria. They were they had volunteers that way go, then they actually make mosquito bet them with you know with with, that, with um knowing says some of them are the modified mosquitoes. Do you know anything about that and how do you think that will revolutionize and change how you treat malaria in the future? Thank you. Okay. Um, uh, Mr. Dabo SF said about that study there. Um, Dr. Mm -hmm. Bell, Dr. Tugan, again, anything for add to that? How it work? Mr. I think I've known you before, but I don't know if just it's, it's just in the lab, they don't do that, they or if they don't try for spread out um, into uh, mosquito um, in malaria in endemic areas, then I know I don't know I don't know about that. I know I go for for research more on that. Okay. Um. When I get with email, um, I will say maybe touch base with me by email later for see, you know, how we will answer that question the, the best way. Well, I'm mean, on plenty, plenty. Thank you. Um. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. Um, I know some of enjoy the program, but we're about to finish now. We tell them thank you for all we all don't join and they can go around the panel and let everybody say their last word, then we'll go finish for today. Um, Dr. Today, want to say your last word to people? Eh? Okay, Fambule, una, thank you, thank you for listening to we. Uh, we really appreciate the fact that Una can Una contribute, and uh, so uh, we hope so. Uh, this they help we all, uh, so. The take home messages, malaria, endemic in every country, all the preventive things that we don't talk about, so we take precaution with them. And then we talk to the doctor when needed, so we know just the buying medicine for the sake of it. So we speak CC, healthcare professional before we do one. So all the best. Uh, I tell you all, thank you until we meet again. Well, body better pass gently. Yeah. Thank you very much, Dr. Tuge. Dr. Bell? Yes. Um, um, tell them I thank you for when I joined the session um, and a very good session 
um, Mr. Norland a few things them as well, um, especially concerning the, the the antibody. I just did try for Google and just know, and yeah, it's, it's kind of really, ex, really expensive <laughs> for which I just see, but it's 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 a very good thing where even if they get a account like a salon, they go it will save a lot of hassle, you know. Um, and um, with the hopes that any kind of things that they will be developed more for for the developing countries then and um because then kind of and then are other countries them and and with the hope say they go able for um get them now the endemic areas then we will make life easier for for a lot of people there and if they can kind of the price i know say you know they're not for send and go for as 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 aid or anything but at least if the price um suitable enough for them countries and then it'll be really well, really, really nice for them pregnant women them we um we the travel go salon or the way with the salon please 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 on a protection ourself another year waiting for do for protection ourself um we are also not for it for take on a, on a fancy da if doctor give the medicine on a take him and um please 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 wanna avoid um them traditional medicines them if we don't know much about them, if we don't get experience about them, we don't know say they work, we don't know we don't doses we don't take, then not gonna take them. But for the pregnant women, then our, our advice is please, please don't just stay with fancy that. Okay. If I'm willing, I'm gonna from the one the land book. Me not too much on fuller. I don't take any more from that time. I thank you very much. So we meet again. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Stop.